Hello everyone. Media retrospective recording has always been Cubase's secret weapon, allowing you to never miss a MIDI take, even if you never hit the record button. Cubase is essentially capturing your performance in the background, and with one single command, you can turn it into a MIDI part. In Cubase 10.5, you can find some significant improvements for MIDI retrospective recording. Let me show you how this works. The first new improvement that we have in retrospective record is that now each track can have its own retrospective record buffer. So let me show you this. On this channel, I have a Groove Agent instance loaded and I have some drums. So as you can see, we can now find the retrospective recording function on the inspector as well. And as you can see, it's dimmed right now. But once I start playing something, it immediately lights up, which means I can now keep playing. And now I can immediately go and insert this retrospective MIDI recording as a linear recording into my project window. And there we go, exactly how I played it with a gap between the two sections. Now, if I move on to my bass channel right here, again, this is all dimmed. When I start playing, Again, I can immediately drop in the retrospective recording into my project. And now we have a dedicated retrospective button next to the transfer bar. So if I click on this, it will add this base buffer into my project window. And as you can see, every channel can have its own buffer. They don't share the same buffer. So it's really versatile. You can basically try ideas on different instruments, different channels, and then just drop it if you find that you've played something you like. Another very cool feature is that you can now insert a retrospective recording as a cycle recording. Let me show you this. If I activate the cycle right here, I can have this drum loop playing. And let's say that I want to try a few things on my bass and try a few different bass lines, a few different bass riffs. And without recording, I want to start trying a few things. So right now our buffer is completely empty for this channel. I've activated cycle mode and now I'm going to hit play. Now let's say I liked a few of the takes that I did and I want to see what I've just played and recall it. So as you can see, I didn't really record anything, but the retrospective recording was working in the background. So now I can recall any of those takes that I did straight away. So let's do it. What I can do is I can go to my retrospective recording and insert this as a linear recording or as a cycle recording. So let me show you the difference. Linear recording just inputs the entire take as a continuous file. But because I had cycle activated, I can even insert it as a cycle recording. So in this case, as you can see, Cubase gives me all the takes that I did. So I can just go through the different takes. Or maybe I want to try this one. So as you can see with the brand new retrospective record functions, you can never miss a take, even if you didn't hit record. Cubase has your back. <laughs>